Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna go an in-depth video on this 2023 Freightliner M2106. This is the first Freightliner that we've actually completed. We did bring you a video on the exterior of the 2022 white Freightliner. We've finished this one first because we're here at Hershey. Um, we've got one of our matching toy haulers, new prototype toy hauler here with it. So it just looked really good paired up. But we're gonna go through this. If you've seen like the Lux truck Ram video that we did for the 2022, we're gonna go in depth, inside and out, on every option on this 2023 Freightliner M2106 from the exterior to the interior. So make sure you grab a beer, grab a snack, and you know what time it is. Lux, get trucking. All right, everyone, like I said, we are gonna do an in-depth look at this 2023 Freightliner M2106 that we've just completed. We, we got it done just in time to bring it out here to Hershey. We're gonna start with, we've done a caliber nine grill here with the Lux emblem to go with the Lux truck. This sensor down here, you may have never seen this on a Freightliner yet. This is brand new for 2023. This is the uh, cruise control, the adaptive cruise. We'll go inside and we'll look at that in the interior. I'm gonna do a full interior with this and the exterior. We've ordered the chassis with LED headlights. And like always on the luxhaulers.com website, we always list the chassis options complete detail of everything that we've ordered this chassis with. And then of course the entire outfit. So if there's ever a question of what um, specifications all the different weights, everything about this truck's gonna be listed there. So I'm gonna pop the hood so you can get a look at that if you've never seen under the hood on the Freightliners. There's just a release on each side on the exterior and then it just flips forward. So it's equipped with the Cummins L9, which is an 8.9 liter Cummins turbo diesel paired up with the Allison automatic six-speed transmission, a 3400 series. You can see on these, when, when the hood pops forward, you can literally step inside here between the tire and the bumper. You can get to your fuel fillers and all of your fluids, your different dipsticks to check the, the levels on everything. It's, it's very easy to get to everything under the hood. We're gonna be releasing a video, a nighttime video actually, showing off all the lights and everything, but I thought it was a really awesome feature here under the hood is a spotlight up on the firewall that actually shows you, uh, you know, at night so you can see into the engine compartment. We've also added center caps, lug nut covers to dress up the wheels to finish it off. They don't come from the factory that way. That's an option that we added. And then we'll actually jump inside here and check out the interior, the way that we've completed. So we've got ultra leather everywhere inside the cab. We've kind of got a two-tone look here. We've got a, a non-quilted panel, and then we have a quilted panel. This truck is equipped with our Black Burl and Maybach. That is what this combination is. So basically the Maybach is this diamond stitching. It's, it's black with silver stitching and we've done that same silver stitching with the piping on the seats and we'll we'll get in here in just a second to look at that and then we've also got kind of the same two-tone look with the smooth ultra leather and then the quilted ultra leather we will be also offering a silver silver carbon fiber and a wraith setup for the interior same colors just a different quilting the actual stitch for the wraith is a honeycomb paired with the silver carbon fiber, just to give it a sportier look inside uh, versus uh, I feel like the diamond quilting is a, is a higher end luxury look. On the front seats, they are massage, heated and cooled, power adjust, power lumbar. We've got a USB charger on there. And then of course, along with the rear suspension, the cab itself and the front captain seats, they are air ride. We'll take a look at the, the matching power sofa in the rear. It's actually, will lay flat. It's a jackknife sofa here. 
that is heated as well. So you can kind of see the function of how that would lay out flat for the power sofa in the rear. And of course it retains all the factory seat belts so you can legally fasten up five passengers in this 2023 Freightliner M2106 business class crew cab. Now talking numbers a little bit on capacities, this truck, we ordered it with a 26,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. And the reason for that is we, we could have opted to go with a 19,500. The truck itself is gonna weigh in just a little over 15,000 pounds full of fuel. That's nothing in the compartments. That's no passengers. That is the complete upfitted truck with fuel. So to give you an idea, like if you're pulling one of our fifth wheels, it could be you know, one of the bigger ones without a toy, you might be around 5,000 pounds of tongue weight. So that's gonna be payload on the truck. So right there, you would, it would already exceed the 19,500 pounds if we would have ordered the truck that way. So that's why we did go with the 26,000 gross vehicle weight rating. That is gonna be subject to the federal excise tax. It is 12%, um, but it keeps you legal and, and gets you down the road that way. Pay attention to that when you're looking at these other trucks that are on the market. Um, let's go ahead and jump inside the truck here and we'll go over some of the dash and some of the option features inside the truck. So inside the cab, we've upgraded, we've put speakers in each door and then we've replaced the factory speakers up in the dash and then actually added two in the rear in the headliner there. So we have eight speakers plus a sub and it's all ran through a amplifier. We have a Kenwood head unit here that is set up with Apple CarPlay and uh, also navigation. It has bridge heights and stuff for a truck like this. And then really pretty much everything you should need in here. We've got cruise control. You can set the speed control, turn it on, set it here. The automatic transmission controls are all here on the dash. The steering wheel is telescoping and tilting so you can adjust it exactly where you want along with all the features on the seat to really dial in how you, you want to go down the road with this guy. Power windows, we have a instant mile per gallon reading here that will put out while you're driving down the road to let you know exactly the miles per gallon that you're getting at any time. We've installed a few additional auxiliary switches here for our um, compartment lighting for the bed the rigid lights, again, that are always on the Lux truck. So we, we've done this truck as identical as possible to our Ram Lux trucks. If you've seen those, you're familiar with that. We try to keep all the options as the same as possible. This is actually the control for the cruise control, the adaptive cruise. So this will actually give you a reading, let you know how close you're, you're getting to the vehicle in front of you. And then of course it, it slows the truck down and then speeds it back up once uh, you know, the vehicle in front of you is sped up or change lanes or, or whatever you have going on. We have tire pressure monitoring system as well for the truck, a suspension dump, spotlight lamp switch that again goes to the light that's, that's under the hood and then also tied into our rigid lights. We've done our same black burl here in the custom built center console. A lot of storage inside here. We've actually got a bunch of stuff from the trip kind of stored away in there. You can see cup holders in there. Also USB charging on that. A really cool feature when we look at the ceiling for the overhead console is we have an infinity mirror there. And then we also have a, a matte flap at the back uh -huh. along with the traditional lights that the cab comes with. We've got some red matte light reading lights and, and the normal um, interior lights there, dome lights. So that's pretty much everything. Uh, we've got a camera system. We installed the Voyage, Voyager camera system that we mount a camera on the light pylon to kind of mimic the chismal lights that you would see in the Rams for a high mount camera to look at the fifth wheel hitch. And this is actually set up with four different channels. Uh, we put a, a bulkhead at the back of the truck so that you can add another camera. So it'll it's actually set up, the truck is set up to run two cameras but you could add an additional cameras and, and run up to four cameras on this Voyager system. 
Added the brake controller here as well. This is a very nice low profile brake controller. It's very simple. You set the dial for how aggressive you want the brakes on the trailer. And then in an emergency situation to apply the brakes, you just push the button. It's very simple. That's all there is to it. Everything else is, is hidden away and concealed low profile. Again, if there's options that you're looking for the truck or that I might have missed or I didn't touch on, again, all of these options are going to be listed on the LuxHaulers.com website as to how the chassis is ordered. And then again, also with the bed and all the options that are on it. So let's, let's get out of the truck. We'll take a look at the bed and the way that it's upfit. One of the really absolute amazing features for the, all of the 2023 turnkey trucks, whether it's a Freightliner, Ram, or Ford, is we have gone to keyless entry on the compartment doors of the bed. I am so excited about that. I, I have been pushing for that since I started here. We've made it happen on this truck. It's gonna be an absolutely amazing feature. We've done some LED strip lighting we'll look at in there. And we'll look at the all brand new tank covers for these 2023s that are even a little bit different than the 2022 trucks. We tried to streamline them and, and again, make them look the part with the rest of the trucks. So let's take a look at them. Okay, so now we're back outside. We're gonna go over the exterior features. I did tell you that we, we've added a lot of uh, like entry lights and things that we actually have another video that'll be coming out that'll show this at nighttime to really show it off. But you can see it during the daytime, obviously, as well. I just hit the unlock button to the cab. So you can see that each door has that entry light. And it cascades onto the step when the door is actually closed. And then obviously, once the door opens, it's going to illuminate the area where you step there. So you can see kind of down here how it's illuminating my hand in the step. So up front we have block heater, obviously a factory option. We've ordered it, we've integrated it here into the tank cover steps. These tank cover steps are all brand new. These are absolutely amazing. We've got a locking door handle here. This is where the fuel and the def are. So just a push of a button, this tips out. The fuel and the def are concealed under that keeps the tank cover streamlined, seamless. You'd never really know that it was there unless you know to look for it once it's all closed back up. We've added some, some features there to just kind of break up the steps, give it a little more aggressive look. I think they turned out absolutely amazing. This is our trickle charger connection here. This is just a simple 110 plug-in. Inside the truck, there is a battery disconnect here. Beside the driver's seat, there is a battery disconnect where you can actually turn everything off to the truck. Um, but if the truck's gonna sit for a long period of time, you may wanna just hook up the trickle charger, just plug it in and, and maintain the batteries, of course. Now, one of the things that we've always done for the batteries as well, is this is normally just an open slot. You can see the factory battery cover there. So now what you'll do is you'll remove this panel like normal, take these two fasteners out, and this piece of the tank cover step actually comes off. This way it all looks like it's integrated as one step, but it is removable. So you definitely wouldn't have to take the entire tank cover or anything crazy like that off there. We've painted it to match the truck, of course, and then bed liner for a nice rugged exterior feature there for stepping on of obviously you're not going to scratch that up it's going to last a long time now with one button this is the absolute craziest awesome thing that we've done with our beds so far that as far as i'm concerned is the keyless entry for the cab is all tied together with one button to lock so when we hit the lock button the entire bed is now locked the handles will still flip open and now they just free spin like that. You can't actually open the compartment. There's no way to get it open. There is a key to manually lock it, unlock it as well. If there is some failure, say the battery's dead or something with the mechanism's gone bad. And then again, unlock button, hit it once, entry lights come on, and now the compartments are unlocked. You can see now the door just popped open. It's free to open now. You can see where we've got our actuator here that controls the door handle again keyless entry on all compartments so now every one of these compartments 
including the bed or including the cab are all unlocked. Inside here we've done just like we typically do with our Ram. This is where you control the trailer saver air ride hitch. The TSL B2H with the third air pack. So you have a 32,000 pound towable capacity, 7,500 pound pin weight capacity, just like we do in the Rams. So really this truck is only limited by the hitch that we put in it. 32,000 is gonna be your max towables weight rating. We'll just open up all these compartments really quick. So this is an 84 Elite, which we can do for like a Ram, but in-house we call this our big body, our medium duty 84 Elite. So it is about two inches wider than what we would put on a Ram or a Ford F550 that's an 84 CA. And then it's about five inches taller. So the center compartment that we do an upgrade that we call a coffin door on the 60 CAs. That's standard on the 84. This is by far the biggest compartment space that we have in the pasture. It's absolutely massive. We put the same black lizard skin spray in in here as well. Works as a bit of a non-slip surface. And then really the, the big thing that this does is keeps the compartments from sweating. We're trying to keep it ambient temperature in here with the vents that we have that allow air into the the compartments themselves and then this actual spray liner is to help keep it from sweating like if you put tools or something like that they're not going to draw moisture and sweat in there all of the rigid lights that you see on here of course again they are standard with the turnkey truck like this so we've got the rigid lights and light pylon rigid lights in the center compartment and we have rigid lights in the rear bumper spray in bed liner in here again the keyless entry with the stainless hinges and the chrome handles like that that is standard now for all turnkey lux trucks whether it's freightliner ford f550 or the freightliner m2106 it's all going to be standard painted smooth bumper bed liner on that again everything is matching monotone durable with the bed liner on it absolutely amazing finish tailgate Come standard with the turnkey truck, just like on the Ram, painted the match. Painted fender flares. If you've ever seen the uh, Transwest Summit hauler, we built that for about 15 years. We use a wider flare on those trucks. Tried to bring the profile down a little bit, make it a little more sexy with the painted fender flare. Tuck it in here. It really gives the truck a sleek, beautiful look with everything monotone paint match. Again, that's why we redesigned the tank extension here. This works as a step to get up to that center compartment. That's why it has the bed liner on it. And then the tank covers, again, everything's paint matched. We, we looked at the tank cover on the other side and talked about that. We have the same matching setup for the fuel fill on this side as well. It's the same exact setup aesthetically. They match both sides. You're gonna have a 50 gallon tank on each side of the truck for a total of 100 gallons total. So that's really the overview on the truck. We get the, the um, balance up on the top there, painted the match, cab lights. Again, all those features are gonna be on the uh, website. We're gonna list out everything that's on the truck, everything with the upfit. So if there's something I didn't cover, make sure you look at that. If you have any questions, it should all be there. Thanks for taking the time. I know it's kind of a long video. There was a lot of stuff to cover on this truck. I appreciate you watching it. And as always, stay safe and keep on trucking.